Southern Conference men's basketball exclusively on ESPN3. Back inside the Maybe Center for men's action and part of this Thursday doubleheader as the Cardinals of Lamar under Pat Knight taking on the Golden Eagles of Oral Roberts. Niles with the extra pass up top to Glover. They'll continue to swing around and rattle it through. Golden Eagles with their first lead tonight. Shot clock halfway down. Wide open look from straight away, and the Golden Eagles now have a double digit lead, courtesy of the three pointer out of the right hand of Warren Niles. An 11 point lead right now that the Cardinals are trying to overcome. Trying to cut it back into a single digit deficit, and able to do so right there with Keelan Blanks connecting once again. The former Utah Ute makes it a 10 point lead once again for the home team as Billbury. Pull the ball back out. Al's extra pass, give him the assist in the flush for the Dallas native Sean Glover. Niles. Once again, pouring in a three is Niles now with 14 points tonight. And that will extend the advantage 37 to 29 at halftime. What about Basket that? Blanks right there, three. What a shot. He got challenged big time and just went up and over the defender for the three. Certainly, they know where he is every trip down the floor. It's a career high night for Blanks. And meanwhile, yeah, we may be talking about a career night for Warren Niles before it's all said and done. Three on one break and denying the alley oop. Rashawn Glover with some defense and the flush on the opposite end for number 11. Billbury has some grinding all the way down the floor, and in the end, a flush. Elevator to the penthouse, please. After being a late scratch before tip off. Benton straight away as time expires, and Lamar has clawed their way back within 12 once more. Freshman point guard distributing out to the big man. How about that, Bell Holter? The fans love it. Yeah. So Oral Roberts keeping pace will stay in second place in the Southland Conference standings at six and one. A nice debut in conference and a nice debut in their first Toyota game of the week here on ESPN3. Some new career highs as those two long time family friends meet at half court. Scott Sutton comes away with his 11th win on the year, now 11 and eight. And the preseason favorites right now are living up to the standard.